Alright, I thought I'd do another construction for you guys. Um, and this is one that I've done b once before, but never bothered to take any pictures of it for some reason. So I'm going to make it and show you guys how to make it, and then I'll take some pictures. So it's made out of six uh, sets of six uh, two layer hexagons arranged in a, a triangle. And we're just going to fold them up like this, and then we're going to close off the corners. Now, this uh, sort of roughly hexagonal, um, it's really sort of behaves like a triangle, really. Um, and uh, it, we're going to make an icosahedron out of it. So, we're going to need 20 of them. I normally wouldn't work this way, making all of the shapes and then putting them together, but it works better for video because I can cut away and uh, save you from having to watch me make each of them. Normally I'd just sort of start putting them together and uh, stick them together as I go. Uh, So, I'll cut away and then uh, when I come back I'll have 20. Okay, so now I have a bunch of them. Um, actually, probably have more than enough. Uh, so I'll be able to make a few other things after. Um, and we're just going to put them together like this. Uh, just be careful about where the folds are. So we're going to... Um, in this example I'm choosing to have the convention that I stick them together where this little fold is peeking up right in there so that all of the the holes in my hexagons are sort of facing this big hole which is going to form now it can be a bit tricky when you get the last one in there, but there now we're starting to get things together. You may find it works better to make them in small batches and add them to the structure like that. That way you don't get, so that you don't get stuck um, having to add just one at a time. Um, where doesn't really fit very nicely. So, like that. Here we've got one that... It's not the end of the world, of course. I think the last one tends to go in just fine, but... And here I've got a little bit of a problem, but... I'll cut the card and stick it back together and it's fine. Now, looking at it from the outside, we just want to make sure that things match. So, things look like nicely reflected. You may need to use the card to cut things apart and put stick them back together a bit. Um, it's not a problem if you have to do that. Though, if, if things get really I mean, obviously there's a limit to how badly you can get things messed up before you have to just take everything apart and start over. But there's some tolerance there. There we go. 
This thing's fairly sizable. Let's see if I can get back a little. There you go. Um, we could, we can also take these four extras and uh, make make a truncated tetrahedron from them. Let me just get my tripod to sit steady. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not actually. Well, we'll see. Perhaps like this, facing inward, and let's see, we want that to match, and there you go. Hope you like the constructions. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And I'll be posting some photos of these things to Flickr in a bit. Cheers.